Come in, it's open. Am I disturbing you? You always disturb me, Eden. Don't you know that? I, I just didn't like the way we left things. How would you like to leave things? Well, you left and I didn't get to uh, thank you for asking to drive me or let me explain. We've been explaining our heads off for the last six months. Let's just make this short and sweet, all right? You sound angry. Angry? What right do I have to be angry? I mean, what am I to you? Huh? I'm not your husband. I'm not your lover. In fact, in public, we act like we don't even know each other. I'm your embarrassment. That's what I am. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Look, I can live without anyone else's respect, but I will not do without yours. You have my respect. I'm afraid that's all I can give you. You can... You can give me a lot more than that, Eden, and you know it. You deserve more. Thank you, I think. From somebody who loves you. And I'm sorry, Robert, but that's not going to be me. Well, at least you're finally being direct for once. You know, you're always demanding that I make some sort of decision. And tonight I realized the decision had been made for me a long time ago. And I don't think I can change it. Cruz, that's your decision, huh? I'm sorry. I, I don't see how this is some sort of surprise to you. I mean, you're the one that predicted it. You saw that it was so obvious. I don't know why I didn't see it. When the possibility entered my mind that I may lose him for the rest of my life. Look, anyone can lose anything at any minute. You're just figuring that out? You can lose an eye, a leg, your looks, your children. You can lose me in the time it takes to say I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. And if that's the next sentence that was going to come out of your mouth, you can lose that too. Look, I was thinking of things in the wrong way. I admit that. I was trying to weigh love against love, and love was beside the point. Cruz isn't just a man in my life. He is the ground I stand on. You didn't love me because you loved me. You loved me because I loved him. It was that basic. I loved you before you even knew he existed. Now, if he's the ground you stand on, then what was I? What was I? I, I what, you don't know? No. I'm, un I'm unclassifiable, is no, that it? I don't want to tell you. Hopefully... My love for you was my last rebellion. <sighs> but you were right. I never wanted to be tamed. I never wanted to need anybody. It wasn't natural for me. And yet all my life, all I've seemed to do is hurt the people who needed me most. I hurt you all those years ago. I hurt Cruz when I met him. I've hurt him now more than I can ever know because of you. And I am so sorry that it took me until now to know the difference. You're sure of all this? You're not going to change your mind again? Look, all week? I know is that it was wasteful and it was stupid to keep alive some rebellion when there was nothing to rebel against. Oh, well, at least we finally found a way to classify me. I was a stupid waste of your precious time, right? No, no you're right. I... You're right. I was more than that. At least at the end. Hell, I was a uh, valuable insurance. Someone you could fall back on in case Cruz wouldn't have you back. But now you see your chances with him are maybe improving, so I guess you can afford to cut me loose, huh? Cruz may never come back to me. Then I guess you'll know what it's like to keep hanging on to hope, won't you? Maybe. Let's get one thing straight. You stay the hell out of my life. 
I don't ever want to see your face again. You understand? I understand, Robert. 